We're also following developments in Northeast Miami-Dade, the scene of a devastating crash. You can barely recognize one of the cars involved as it sits on the curb, split in two. CBS 4's Amber Diaz was at the scene with more. We're here at the intersection of Ives Dairy Road and Northeast 10th Avenue. This is where that accident happened just before 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can see most of the mess has been cleaned up. There's still a little bit of glass on the ground, but the damage already done. I don't even know how to put it, man. It just happened so fast. A telephone pole down, a car split in half. It's the aftermath of a deadly accident Saturday afternoon in a busy part of Northeast Miami Dade. Like, bang, bang. And that was it. The body was on the ground for like a minute. Florida Highway Patrol says the driver of a blue Dodge was headed east down Ives Dairy Road when it collided with this white Ford F-150 that was turning left at Northeast 10th Avenue. I always hope the police do, do the right thing by putting a camera out here, man. That's the best thing. The person driving the Dodge, according to FHP, was ejected from the car and did not survive. He was just 23 years old. FHP says the person driving the truck is 60 years old. He was taken to Aventura Hospital and Medical Center in critical condition. Back out here in Northeast Miami Dade, while FHP is still investigating the cause of the crash, we spoke to a few drivers in the area and they tell me this area is where drivers are prone to speeding, so they're asking everyone to drive the limit. In Northeast Miami Dade, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.